Hey guys, this is Eric Weingartner with Weiner Racing. Today's video is about the probably the most requested head I've asked to been doing your review on. And it's the AFR small block Chevy Enforcer head. Now, AFR makes the Enforcer line in the small block Chevy, big block Chevy, and the small block Ford, and the LS too. I have done a review of the big block Chevy AFR Enforcer head. Didn't like it at all. Um, I haven't done the Ford one. I'd be happy to do one. I just don't get as many Ford heads that are in here compared to the Chevrolet, LS, big block Chevy stuff. So that just hasn't showed up yet. This one's a, a little bit different. So anyway, let's talk about this head. AFR, besides their Enforcer line, are all pretty much CNC ported heads. So if you do their small block Chevy heads, this is the only one that's as cast. All the rest are CNC ported. Um, so when you look at this head, it's dramatically different. This one is an offshore casting. They freely emit it. This, in other words, it's cast in China. And they put their own stuff in it. Now, this head, and several people have said that it's not, is the same as many, many other head castings. And some of you might be confused by this, but let me tell you. I'm just going to name a few. The Renegade is the same head as this. The DNA head, same head as this. The Assault head, same as this. Now... Some of you are saying, well, no, they're not. It's different. AFR is getting a different one. Here, let me show you. This is the AFR. Look at it closely. That's not the AFR. Now, I'm going to show, tell you this real quick. I've done a valve drop on this one, so you can ignore this part. But if you look at the port, they're the same. I've done enough of these to know they're the same. Now, some of you might be like, well, wait a minute. You've got steam holes in the AFR, but not in this one. You can actually order them both ways. Assault, the ones that are actually on my sister's engine, has the steam holes, even though she doesn't need them. So, um, some have the steam holes, some don't. The port design, exactly the same. Chamber design, exactly the same. I want to point this out again because someone's going to comment on it. I redid the valve job. These ones are getting ready to be ported. That's the reason why they look different. This head is the same as the rest. The only difference is, and I have to give AFR credit for this, is they, they saw where they could fill in this niche. Because a lot of these Chinese heads, everybody, if you read the comments, one of the most popular things people say is they're not a bad head. These are not pro comps, by the way. These are not a bad head if you change the hard parts. So AFR is like, hey, what if we bought the heads and we put our stuff in them, the good stuff? That'd be doing the same thing. And then we'd sell them. And that's what they've been doing. So they have some differences. Now, hey, I'll point these out real quickly. AFR uses eight millimeter uh, valve train in almost every small block Ford, small block Chevy head that they have. The eight millimeter, what I mean by that is a stem diameter. So if you kind of compare this to, let me grab a, this is, a, this is 11 32nd, and this is an eight millimeter. The eight millimeter is smaller. This is what you would see in LS stuff. And this is what you see in traditional small block Chevy stuff. The benefits of having the eight millimeter stuff is one, it weighs less. So, because they have so many of these, and there's no sense in buying special parts just for this one head, they all they did was, hey, when you guys make these heads in China, can you put a guide in there and hone it to size to work with our 8 millimeter stuff? And they did. So that's different, because if you look at this head, although the port's the same, this takes 11 32nd stem valves, the common one for small block Chevys. Now, because the eight millimeters is actually smaller, in theory, these should flow more because the stem's not taking as much up, taking up as much area in the throat as, or in the bowl too, as the bigger valve. So it should flow more. I've got flow numbers, I'm gonna share those at the end, or maybe sooner. So that's one big difference. So they put third quality stuff in it. So these are the same valves that you see in like the AFR, since these are 202 1600s, 202 1600s, these would be the same stuff you might see in the AFR. I would say um, probably their 180 small block Chevy head because I think they have 202 valves. The 1600 valves are the same one you'd see in just about every other head that they have. So same valve there. The 202, I don't think it's in the 195 because that's a 205 valve, even the race port one. But I do think it's in the 180. So they have this valve already. They then also put in their own pack spring. And they have these, you have to use bead lock valves or uh, valve locks with these eight millimeter stuff. So they have those. They're retainers. And they also put a spring cup on the bottom. And that's how they are. So Chinese head, there are good parts in them, and they go. And I have to say, I like this casting. In case you're wondering, well, what casting is this really? 
This is, and people are gonna say otherwise, I could bring out a dart head and show you. This is the copy of a dart 200cc platinum head. Flat out it is. There are some minor differences where you'd be like, oh, okay, I see there's a small difference. One would be there. There's a bulge right here. They, I think that's the only reason why they even put that in there so they can say, well, it's different than that. We didn't copy it because they don't have that bulge. There's more similarities than there are differences between the two heads. So in my opinion, and I think I'm pretty certain on this one, that this head is the copy of the dart head. Same with that one. So great head though, anyway, um, even though it's made in China. Great head. It does have the steam holes, so if you're putting them on the stock 400, they have those. It doesn't hurt, by the way, if you put them on a 350, they'll be blocked by the gasket anyway. So it's not a big deal. So there's that. Let's look at the flow numbers. So I flowed them on two bores, a 4155 bore and a 4030 bore, you know, for a 400 and a 350. Here are the numbers. Now I flowed this on my Sains Digital 680 bench. I didn't want to float on my Superflow, it just takes too long. So I'm going to show you. This right here is the flow on the 4155 bore, and this is on a 4030 bore. The reason why I float on both, both is because you guys can use them either way. Clearly they have the steam holes, so you can run them on that 400 if you wanted. By the way, I know I'm going to get asked this question. Do you put steam holes in heads? No. Even if it's in the stock 400 block, do you? No. Why not? One, it's a pain. So, and this is a true story. One person had me drill these and it was in their profiler heads. And it, in the profiler head, you've got to drill down like an inch and a half. So what ended up happening is the drill bit broke about mm, an inch into the port. And that was a nightmare getting out. So I will never do that again on any head. So I don't do them. Also, I don't think they need them. I've seen 400 run with them and without them and I can't tell the difference. So there's that answer. Anyway, here's the flow on the 4155 bore, and this is on a 430 bore. You can think of it like a 350 and a 400. If you notice, they're pretty close. Matter of fact, on the 430 bore, it's better there, worse there, uh, worse there, worse, 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 and about the same, a little bit better. Exhaust, you could tell, no, uh, they're close. There's some places where they're better and they're worse. So there's your numbers. Now remember, I don't flow the exhaust with a pipe attached. So when you see AFR's numbers, um, they flow with an exhaust pipe attached. I don't do that. That's just not me. Now, some of you say, well, well then how does it compare to this one? Because I mean, yeah. Well, remember if I did my sister's engine, which got dynoed, they have the assault racing heads on them and I flowed them stock and I did the whole progression. If you want to go back and look at my videos, I have no idea how to add a link at the top of the page. Some other people that are I'm geniuses on that stuff do but I don't have a clue but I would like to tell you go back and look at it you can see the progression on how to actually port these if you wanted um, you can see that but I didn't anyway when I did that head well, my sister's head which was this head just 11 30 seconds this is what they flowed so this is stock and I point this out because I told you the smaller stem helps you flow more air the valve job are the same so, by the way, AFR does not do the valve job. Nope. That was done overseas. And it's only a three-angle job, nothing fancy. This is what the assault racing head float stock. If you look at that compared to the AFRs, and remember, this is 430 bore, so you need to compare it to that one. But if I look, worse, see what I mean? The smaller stem always, usually flows more. I shouldn't say always, but usually. AFR is better there, worse there, worse there, a lot better there, a lot better there, and so on. Same with the exhaust, it's just better. The smaller stem, well, except for some points, 400. This one was better. But for the most part, the smaller stem usually flows more, and you can kind of tell. The flow numbers are really close. Also, you can say that's because there's differences in ASCAST heads. But now you've gotten to see it. So anyway, there you go. There's the head. Hope you enjoyed the video. Someday I'll maybe get a forward one in here and I can show that with you. So, and for the record, I am really getting after one of these heads i've got one head done i've got to finish this do this head and you'll see a really heavily modified version of that except for with 11 30 second stems so like this one right now is cut out to 208 intake valves um still 45c this thing will probably move quite a bit of air when it's done um the one that i use for my sisters moved 315 i don't know this one will probably match it but probably have better stronger low lift numbers so but anyway Thanks for watching. You guys take care.